Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today we're going to take a look at the DOM parser inside JavaScript. So the DOM parser is a native JavaScript object which lets you um, convert or parse an XML based string into a physical JavaScript object. So for example, what you can do is you can actually give an HTML string or some HTML markup to this DOM parser and it's going to convert that string into a physical JavaScript HTML document object. Okay, so let's see with an example. So inside the HTML for this document, it looks like this right now. So let's actually um, go inside the JavaScript and create a new instance of a DOM parser. So down here, we can make a new constant and call this one parser equal to a new instance of DOM parser. So DOM parser is a native JavaScript constructor. Okay, like that. So we have this parser instance. We can now call um, the only method on that instance called parse from string. Okay, so we're going to write some HTML markup and convert it into a document. Okay, so let's make a new constant down here and call this one parse document. All right equal to the parser dot parse from string. This method takes two arguments and it returns an HTML document, or sorry, it returns a JavaScript document object. It could be XML document, it could be SVG document, or HTML document. It depends on the type of data that you actually um, give it. Okay, so as the first argument, let's give it some HTML markup. So we're going to use a JavaScript template literal here using the two backticks. We can now use a multi-line string. Okay, so here let's put some HTML markup. Use the uh, opening tags right there, HTML. Put a head. Give this a title as well. Alright, we can say for the title, um, yep, new document. Alright. We can now make the body tag and put a h1 tag inside here. Let's give it an ID of, um, let's just say, page title. Okay, we can put inside here decode. Alright, also put a paragraph tag. Okay, um, how's it going? My name is Don. So we have this HTML markup inside here as the first argument to this parse from string method. Let's give it a second argument, that being the actual MIME type of this data. So let's put text slash HTML for the content type or the MIME type um, of this data right here. So these two have to match. And now this parse from string is going to look at this and it's going to return me an HTML document instance, so a physical JavaScript object. So now I can console dot dir and we can put parsed document inside here so dir gives us a detailed view of the actual object so I can save this okay and refresh the browser and now in the console we get a document I can expand this and we get all of the properties and methods of a typical or you know a, um, a regular JavaScript document object so if I was to scroll down now we see here it's of type HTML document. Okay, so this means we can actually use all of the same methods and properties as a regular document. So, um, for example, let's get the actual element for the page title. So, um, let's say down here, we can now uh, make a new constant and call this one um, page title equal to parse document dot get element by ID. So this is a document, so it has this method right here. So we can, inside here we can pass in um, page title to match with that one right there. Okay, so now um, I can console.log the page title. Okay, I can save this and refresh and now we get that right there. So pretty cool. Um, we can also, of course, change this page title. So, for example, we can say uh, page title 
dot text content is equal to um, a decode on YouTube or different title. Um, and now, same result, refresh this, and we get that right there. So, let's actually um, change the body of the of the regular document. So, let's change the body of this document to be the body of this document. Okay, so, let's now call the regular um, document. Okay, we say document, we can say dot body, okay, is equal to parse document dot body. So we're changing the actual body of this document to the parsed body. So I can save this and refresh and now we get that right there. So we've just changed the entire body to the dynamic or the parsed HTML in the JavaScript. So quite interesting. Um, now, an actual use case for this might be um, if you are storing HTML in um, in a database or in a text file, and then load it using X, uh, using a fetch request or um, an AJAX request. You can then take the HTML source code and then retrieve the text content of the HTML. So, for example, in this case here, if this was taken from a database or um, you know like, like a text file, you can get all the text content using this um, this technique so for example let's just uh, let's just get rid of this right here so back to normal okay so we have, uh, this right here okay let's just say const uh, text content is equal to and we're going to say parsed document um, dot body dot text content I can now console dot log text content save this and refresh my browser and now we get that right there so then you can now obviously um, do some regex or some um, parsing of your own to actually work with this text and that is the that is the dumb parser inside JavaScript thanks for watching and I'll see you later